Okay, uh, so starting from uh, the MCQ's questions from the pressure. Now the first question is related to the pressure in liquid. And they are asking at which point is the pressure the greatest? Option C. I guess. Okay, option C. Okay, uh, try to give your responses so that will be easy for me to clear the concepts according to that. So two are with option number C, okay. C, C. Any other? In this question, you need to find out the greatest pressure. So this is related to pressure and liquid. You may take the reference from uh, this diagram, this formula, and try to answer that question that at which point the pressure will be greatest in which diagram. So two options are C. So the sequence is very much uh, simple. What you need to do, you just need to know that we are having three factors, density, gravitational pull and the depth and we know that gravity and uh, the density will remain same because all of them are same liquid because they mention in the question same liquid right so it means now we are only left out with one option that is depth so we just need to mark the depth from the surface like this this will be the depth a is already at the highest surface point so a is not possible this is for C and this is for D. Now you can see that the depth of option C is the greatest, right? So it means that C is your right answer. Okay. So in this way, you can easily find out the pressure in liquid at the depth. Okay. Uh, leave question two right now because that is related to the atmospheric pressure also. Uh, we will solve afterwards. Uh, question number three. Uh, is it B? I think it's B. Okay. Yeah, I... Option is B. Second one is also with B. Okay. Uh, rest of you. Which option will be the right? Which is the pressure exerted on the ground due to the block? Okay, uh, one is option D. Two are with option B, one is option D. Anyone else wants to answer? Weight of the block is W and A is the area. Gravitational field strength is G. Okay. So we know the basic formula F equals pressure is equals to force awesome. upon area. Yes. And they are talking about the ground. So ground means force is equals to the weight. Area remains area. So B is your right answer. Okay. Because uh, gravitational field uh, strength actually works with the pressure in liquid. Okay, now these types of questions are now excluded, right? So I will mark crossover there. So that will also give you the concept that which questions are not included in your syllabus because this is related to the uh, application of hydraulic lift, hydraulic press, and that is not mentioned in your syllabus, right? Okay, now the next one. Question five. Okay, uh, try to give your answer. So is it right or wrong? That doesn't matter because we are doing it for first time. That will clear your concept that what are what mistake you are actually making while solving the question. So that's why I'm asking about the answers because we only discuss about uh, two okay. topics. 
सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वन ऑप्शन इज बी ओके so what's the height of this uh you can just take the reference or just the idea for the height with the reference of the other level yeah it's b it's b okay so three of them are you with b so a uh, question is very simple again the greatest pressure so you know that it the pressure in liquid doesn't depend upon the thickness right so don't get confused with the thickness right and also don't get confused with the area because let's suppose if someone thinks about it that area is greater for that one but remember that we are talking about pressure in liquid and pressure in liquid actually depends upon these three factors not on the area so don't get confused with the thickness of the tube right so only go with rho g h density gravitational strength and depth so b is the right choice because one important thing now in this question density is also given so density of water is greater than paraffin so it means that paraffin is already cancelled out right because density of paraffin is less as compared to water so answer may be b or c and we know that density is greater gravitational strength remains same now the only factor is the depth so you can take the reference of depth like this okay so b is the right choice now let's try some other question leave this question also for the time being yes this one you also uh, observe this question in the regular class notes we also take the example like this that the surface area so from this question you also need to take the reference of area by yourself so we know that they are asking what is the minimum pressure so that is the question uh, what i am uh, used to tell you about in the b topic b, b. okay so b one answer is b Yes, sir. B. I wrote it in the chat. So they are asking minimum pressure. So B, B, B. Three answers are B. Okay. Uh, I am just shortly writing the calculation for this part. If somebody is still confused in that, how we calculate the minimum pressure? So you know that for minimum pressure, we discussed in our worksheet that we need to choose the shortest area, right? so we need to choose the shortest area for the shortest area we choose these two lengths right because they are not uh, forcing you to find out the pressure in the same orientation they are asking what is the minimum pressure that the block can exert on the ground when resting on one of its surface right so you can choose any surface is up to you so we are choosing the smallest one because this will give you the area of 0.4 multiplied by 0.3 okay so that will be equal to right and let's suppose if someone takes this value so you know you know that you will get the answer 0.0 meter square right so now you can easily compare that your area is greater in this situation that we are not taking this side we are taking this side okay so this will be your area and force remains the same that is 900 newton when in the rest of the work of the formula pressure is equal to force upon area you see this topic is very much simple i think this is the simplest one as compared to the other one because we have one formula one concept all things are easily done with that one
I think you are getting answer seventy five hundred, right? And I think that you guys just take the same value. Oh. Yes. So that is the question that was. Oh I wait. Yes. They are asking oh. the minimum. I thought it meant like just on the flooring. Yes. So it's just to be the value. Okay. This second statement is very much important. They are asking rest on any face, right? I don't understand the question now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yes. So the question is now clear to all of you, right? But they are asking because sometimes they just puzzle you with the diagram. Because in, in the notes, we just highlighted the area, right? So that is very simple. But in the paper, they will never highlight any specific area. You need to find out uh, the area for the shortest or the minimum pressure or the greatest pressure by yourself, right? So that is the main theme of the question. So option D is the right answer, not the B. Ah, okay. Wait, That's why... so minimum pressure has to be like the highest value? Uh... Minimum pressure. Because if it's okay, minimum, okay, then so it could be four thousand five hundred or nine hundred. Yes. The, 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 the minimum pressure. Yes, yes. So, okay. My mistake. I was just calculated for the greatest. You guys are right. Forty five hundred. Okay. So if we take uh, these sides, so you will get the greatest pressure, and from that side, you will get yeah. the smallest pressure. <laughs> Can you explain that? I'm confused. Uh, actually, in this question, there are multiple sides, right? And you know that for area, you need to choose two sides, right? Okay. Any sides you may choose for uh, the area. So they are asking for minimum pressure. And from the reference, we know that for minimum pressure, what we need to do? Okay, so like shorty area gives yes. you greater pressure. Yes, so you need to choose the greater speed. area, yes. So that is the question. You guys are solving the right way. I just solve for the reverse, the greatest one. Okay. Okay. And these topics are also excluded. We only solve one specific part of these type of question that I will let you know when we start the concept of barometer because that is also in your syllabus. but only with the reference, right? To hide that, how we use the height. So we will discuss that topic. Also skip this question. So you're lagging. Okay, so now this question is also the same that we already discussed. Also leave that one atmospheric pressure. Okay, pressure and depth. Yeah. Now they can Actually, when uh, someone suddenly calls on the number, so net got disconnected. And from yesterday, Wi-Fi uh, in our area is not working. Okay. I don't know why, because of independence okay. or anything. Okay, uh, so this question is also related to the pressure and the depth. So uh, try to answer this one. Okay, so a different depths. So as the depth increases, the pressure should increase, right? Yes, and uh, there are two graphs like the B. curve. Okay. Is it? Okay, so one option is B. Two graphs are the curve, and we know that uh, we didn't discuss about any variable situation in our topic, yeah. right? So it means A and C. These are not. No, but I don't know if it's a B or D. D, D. I said D, not B. Okay. D. Just remove B. Yeah, I'll choose. I'll choose D. Okay. So two of them are with D. So basically, uh, the only difference between those graphs that one is starting from zero and one is starting from any random point, right? And the question is, which graph shows the ex total external pressure acting on a submarine at different depths below the surface of the sea, right? So the main question, the main in the question is, 
at different depths below the surface of the area oh sorry below the surface of the sea so it means that they are talking about different depth they didn't mention about the surface right so if you are at the surface so then the pressure on your submarine will be equal to zero they are only talking about the depth so it means still there will be some uh value of pressure at certain depth that you starts right because uh, uh, in sorry. option D, yes, in option D, your pressure and depth both are zero, right? And they are talking about external pressure. So you know that there will always external pressure uh, by water applied on the submarine because the purpose of submarine is underwater, right? Just if we start from the uh, first level underwater and then we move into the depth. So that's why we choose option B. And there is one more thing included in this question that uh, air molecules will also apply force on submarine, right? So that is uh, atmospheric pressure. We will study about that. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But still, you got the concept from submarine that the purpose of submarine is underwater, not on the water, right? So that's why we just started from some specific value of pressure. So then B is the right. Okay. All right, sir. Uh, let's try two or three more questions, like find different one. Uh, this is also related to manometer because most of the previous questions are related to the hydraulics and manometer and barometer because all topics are very much easy. Now, this is also very much easy, right? So in this question, you need to calculate the pressure it exerts on the ground. Okay, one answer is C. Okay. Uh, I... Okay. On the ground. So... so I think it's D, 1.6. Yeah, I think it's, I got D, yeah. Okay, 1.6. Okay, uh, so basically in this question, what is the uh, trick in this question? They just mark the value on the upper direction, right? So some students got confused. They took these values, right? But we know that we need to choose this side. This one and this one, right? This one is equals to 10. This one is equals to 5. So that is only trick in the question. So don't get confused in it. Just take the yeah. base area. You need to take this area, right? So that's why uh, our area will be equal to 5 into 10. 50 centimeter square. And don't get confused for the SI unit because unit is same in your answer centimeter square. So pressure is equals to force upon area force is 80 divided by 50 that option d right not c yeah okay let's find some other question okay uh, 19 is also the same right that we already discussed but in this question Depth is clearly mentioned, right? But still the concept remains same. Raw GH. Okay, try this one. Uh... They're the same depth. Uh, what was it? If it's shorter the area, then that means it's a greater pressure, right? Mm, now they are just confusing with the reference of area plus the concept of pressure in liquid, right? So there I is. I think the pressure would be more in S. Okay. 
I, I'm going with C. I think it would be uh I think it would be same. I don't know. I think it would be same. Okay. Wait, actually this is liquid. Yeah, it would be the same. It would be the same. Yeah, because if mass uh if there is more water in T is the more same. area also. Is the same. Yeah. Same. Option B. Okay, so Yeah, option B. No, I say option D. D. Okay, okay, okay. One is with D, one is with B. No, 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 D. Sorry, I didn't read the whole. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so two of you are with D. Okay, uh, so basically they are asking and they just confuse you with the reference of, okay, third one is also D. So they just give you a reference of same liquid. And one more thing the area of the base so that is the confusing statement in the question because that it will confuse in your journal formula of pressure p is equals to f upon a plus the pressure in liquid uh, rho g h but yeah there's no force in water right so always formula, remember whenever you are going to solve for liquid so always take the reference from this formula right so your screen is back okay Okay, so don't get confused because they just confuse you with the reference of area, right? Uh -huh. So still the reference remains same that pressure is equals to rho g h in liquid. So option D is the right one that the pressure on the base of S is same as the pressure on the base of T because their levels are same, their depth are same. Okay, so you will get the same pressure, right? So D is yeah. the right choice. So they just confuse you with two or three concepts in the same question. Yeah, it took some time to figure out. So that's why these questions yeah. are like the easiest one, but this will be difficult because there is no calculation over there. So you just need to think with the concept and answer with that. Okay.